Eric Douglas has been entertaining audiences for more than 15 years as a business leader, as an author, and as an expert in management and organizational strategy. So as I stand before you, it's clear to me that every single person in this room is experiencing a revolution in how they work and how they do their business each day. Why? Because two huge trends of really cataclysmic proportion are colliding in our workplaces and both are technology driven. The first trend is really all about the pace of innovation and the way in which our competitive pressures are increasing daily. Moore's law that there's a doubling of processor speed every two years applies to all companies and businesses affected by the high tech sector. Innovation has to happen on an accelerating pace as we move forward in the years to come. Now, Think about this, too. Think about the fact that the way our minds work and the way we process information is, is trying, is struggling to keep up with this. And so the average attention span has gone from 20 seconds 20 years ago to 8 seconds today. The number of decisions that a manager makes on a given day is right around 3,000, double what it was 10 years ago. Within this kind of accelerating, expanding, pace of change and innovation and decision making, we need new tools. We need new ways to work together and be effective. His work with companies like International Thompson, American Public Television, and the University of California has given Eric special insights into how people work together. The result, technology is pushing this information deeper and deeper and deeper into our organizations so that teams of people are the place where decisions are being made. Now this is not something that surprises you or me because we know we're working more in teams. But if you think about these two forces together, the external pace of innovation, the internal acceleration of information, you can see how teams will feel more and more burdened in their responsibility to make decisions together. Now companies like Hewlett Packard, eBay, Genentech, they're committed to teams. They know that there's no longer going to be a single omnipotent boss making all the decisions. And I applaud this trend. I know it's good for us, except for one small thing. In his latest book, Straight Talk, Douglas lays out his vision of how people can work more efficiently together in a world of exploding innovation and information. If more decisions need to be made by more people, and those decisions need to be made more quickly, and more decisions need to be made by groups of people working together, then I submit we have a disaster in the making. I mean, think about it. Groups and teams of people working together to make fast, efficient, expeditious decisions, that's something we haven't been able to do in 2,000 years on this planet. How can we expect to do that now? I maintain that nothing short of a quantum leap in the way in which we process information and the way in which we acknowledge the unconscious assumptions that we bring to the table and the way in which we position ourselves as co-collaborators rather than as advocates for a specific position or decision. Nothing short of those kinds of quantum leaps in thinking about ourselves and our role in the organization will be enough for us to succeed in this new environment. Straight Talk, a main selection of the Executive Book Club, has become the basis for a series of management workshops for people to learn how to work together to tackle tough issues. You know, in writing this book, I thought a lot about my dad. My dad was a wonderful guy. He was a, an engineer, a scientist, an inventor. He invented the machines that make frozen orange juice possible. So when you have a glass of orange juice in the morning, you can think about Peter Douglas. But my dad taught me about the value of sophisticated tools and about the importance of having the right tool for the right job. And he would always say that buying the best tool was always a worthwhile investment. And I've tried to follow that philosophy in my work in our company. As a keynote speaker, Eric Douglas has held audiences spellbound with his vision of how the workplace is changing. So we're here to discuss the future today and the future of the workplace. And I want you to imagine the workplace in five or six years with me. Now, first of all, we've got the internet. We've got extraordinarily high bandwidth. We've got new video streaming software, and we've got new video conferencing tools all at our disposal. What does it mean? It means that 
each and every one of our offices will be more like a television production studio than like an office. It means that every day you'll have the opportunity to star in, produce, and direct your own TV show. And what are the skills you need? Communication skills, programming skills, and most important, leadership skills, because the tools you're going to be using here are designed for one thing and one thing only, to allow virtual teams working in global organizations to communicate and work together across infinite networks in real time. Eric Douglas, a dynamic speaker and a successful leader, a man with important things to say to each and every one of us.